The name Perkins carved in stone. Below a Gothic tower, a boy navigates with a cane. Universal Design for Learning with Elizabeth Hartman. So once you're on board with the UDL framework and you really understand that it's not um, the child that needs to be fixed, but rather the curriculum, the UDL principles help you think about how you can make curriculum that's smart from the start, that basically meets the needs of all learners in your classroom from the very beginning. Um, and this is in contrast to taking an existing curriculum and constantly retrofitting it, um, which uh, often is what's done now and can help provide students uh, with disabilities, students with visual impairments and mul multiple disabilities and deaf blindness. Also, there's a lot of research um, that has, has been done even many years ago that um, seems to just nicely fit with this way of thinking, nicely fit with the UDL framework. Um, the people who created the framework really were trying to take the, the best practices, the, the strong research base in um, neurobiology, in education, and technology, and to come up with a different way of thinking about supporting all learners. So it, it's already on a strong foundation. But as UDL is implemented and enacted in schools, there are studies now uh, that are showing that, that uh, both teachers and students are benefiting from it. Fade to Black. 